Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 3 titled Ghost. This will be a review of the episode so if you haven't seen it go check it out and then come back to this review. But with that being said let's get into it. Alright so this was a pretty good episode. A lot of interesting stuff happened. A lot of creepy stuff happened. We're gonna break it all down. You guys let me know in the comments down below how did you feel about the episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, starting off with the opening minutes. I did really like those opening minutes. I thought the opening minutes were very intense. I mean, the whole episode is really intense. You're going to keep hearing me say that word throughout this review, intense, because a lot of stuff uh, was intense. I think I just said it like four times in 20 seconds. But anyways, yeah, I love the opening minutes because it was a great way to show how long they've been killing walkers. And it showed us that walkers can be a problem again and a really big problem because, you know, they were up for like 50 hours straight killing walkers. And that's like really crazy to think about. So I love how I love how they actually like, um, you know, show that on screen, like hour six, hour 20, hour 30. And as the hours was increasing, the music was getting more, you know, faster. And, you know, it felt like a heartbeat. I just really liked that whole sequence. The Carol stuff was definitely the best part about the episode. We're going to get to that in just a minute. I'm going to save the best for last. But I want to talk about the Negan and Aaron stuff first. Because I also really did like uh, those two together. Um, and I liked how they paired them up. Because, uh, well, it's interesting what they're doing with Negan. I feel like they're slowly trying to make Negan um, oh, good with people who don't don't like him like there's like the general community who probably don't like him but then there's the people who really don't like him like Aaron obviously is gonna be one of those people because his savior has killed Eric and by the end of the episode we saw that Negan and Aaron are maybe not the best of friends but they're okay now and they're doing it's a very clever way of how they're you know pairing up the characters and Negan is trying to get on the good side of these main characters who are gonna be you know eventually probably on the same side as Negan um during in the future and I have like Negan is sort of I guess okay with Michonne because I mean I wouldn't say like again all these characters that I'm saying like Negan is good with obviously they're not like the best of friends or I don't think Negan will ever be friends with any of these characters but I think they will be able to live together because he already sort of has Michonne's trust you know he by saving Judith that's a big one obviously and now this episode you know saving Aaron's life and helping Aaron you know down the road that Aaron is not going to hold a grudge against Negan anymore because so that is sort of settled uh, Daryl is the one that I'm really interested about. I know uh, they did confirm that Negan is going to meet Beta this season, which I think we all already expected, but it's been confirmed and they're kind of hyping it up because it's going to be really awesome. And that could play into um, Negan sort of getting a redemption uh, from Daryl. We know Beta and Daryl fought last season. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a rematch this season. And if Negan, and if Daryl's life is like on the line and Dar Negan saves him, obviously that's going to earn some points for Negan. So we'll see if that happens. I'm hoping it does. Uh, I mean, that's something I've been seeing since last season. I thought it was going to happen last season during that beta and Daryl fight, but not yet. Uh, but it could happen this season. But they have been hyping it up recently um, that the whole, you know, beta meeting Negan is going to be funny. It's going to be awesome. We'll see if they get into a fight. I really hope it happens. And I'm just, I just can't wait to see Negan actually meeting the Whispers in general, like meeting Alpha and his reaction to the whole thing. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to um, in season 10. Just to say it again, I know I said it in my first review, but I am loving what they're doing with Aaron's character this season. Just a completely new person. Like when he was talking shit to Negan, I was like, oh my goodness, this is a new human being right here. I know, but seriously, like... They're just taking this character in a new direction, which I'm really happy about. Um, I've said that before, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But a lot of good stuff with Aaron this episode. He was intense. He was bold. He was just like, again, like a new character. So I'm liking it. The Whisper Border scene was great. Um, very, very intense. Probably the most intense sequence in a long time. It, it really, like, I mean, it was not that long, though. Uh, so that's why I feel like it may not be like remember it as much as it should or remember it as much as the Negan lineup uh, but I just love that like I don't know I don't really know how long it was but it wasn't that long and, I, and I, that's the highlight of the episode for me I loved it you know Alpha I was on edge I was the edge of my seat you know during that whole sequence I thought somebody was gonna get killed I was surprised that Alpha even let them go 
and it's also cool to know that now the whispers are at least alpha you know she knew that they crossed into the border during this storm i always kind of theorized that but now it's been confirmed so that's pretty cool especially after carol shot at alpha that's why i was so surprised that alpha let them go but you know that stare down was great you know alpha walking up to carol and saying what did you just say or something like that like i love that stuff and like i said in the beginning of the video carol is definitely the highlight of the episode for me i love everything that was going on with her this episode i mean the hallucinations were really tricky to know which was real and which wasn't because a lot of the things i was actually falling for obviously the book i didn't fall for but that was really creepy seeing that book i thought it was a real cool touch to the episode uh really cool stuff um, the jump scare. I mean, that was a pretty good jump scare. I have to admit. I wish they played more, played more around with the voices and made the atmosphere more scary rather than that jump scare. I don't know. I just something about it felt off to me. I don't know. But again, it was a hallucination, so I guess it makes sense. The walkers in the gym. That was pretty good. That was one of those things. I mean, that was really creepy. Honestly, really creepy when you know the whisper. And she imagined it, I think. I'm still kind of, like, on the edge. Like, did she imagine it or didn't she? I don't know. I, I'm, But I think she did imagine it. But when that whisper was walking up to her and not even saying a word, and Alpha, or, excuse me, Carol was trying to kill the whisper, and the whisper just, like, duck out the way. Like, that was so creepy. Especially since it was super silent, you know, during that scene. But, yeah, this episode is definitely, you know, up there. One of the top, you know, scariest episodes for The Walking Dead. And I loved how... You know, the direction they're going right now, you know, this late into the show, they're picking back up. is just like one. As a Walking Dead fan, you can't help but be happy about it. And then also the, the store thing at the end, I was like so confused at first. Like I was thinking that maybe they have some sort of store there and they have like a currency now because it's been so long and they set this up. And then I was like, okay, yeah, this is a hallucination. So again, a lot of great, like these hallucinations, I love how they actually put thought into them. Or maybe it's just me, but a lot of these I was like, like for a second I was like wait is that real or is it not like so to me it was a pretty good job I also really like how they're exploring these characters a lot of the characters psychologically which hasn't really happened that much in The Walking Dead before like I mean this stuff is really surprising me because honestly I did not think that Sadiq stuff from last season I didn't think it would be like as big of a deal it is this I mean it's not like the biggest deal in the world but I'm saying that I didn't think they were gonna do what they did with Sadiq's character and I love it though you know even though I wasn't expecting it I love it because it's just like such a great little layer they added to the show and I think that's what I mean when I say like I'm just so happy with what Angela King is doing you know she's focusing on the little details which really in the big scheme of things makes the whole episode better in the whole season so I'm I'm rooting for her to do more stuff like this because it's been really good. Like, and then the last thing I want to talk about is the Eugene Rosita stuff. Be well, I don't really know how I feel about this because I guess in a way, like, there's other things in the episode or that's going on right now that I'm more interested in. So, like, for me, Rosita and Eugene's relationship is not the most important thing for me right now. Maybe it's just me, but... I did feel bad for Eugene, I have to be honest, and I have to say Josh McDermott is a really, really good actor. I feel like not a lot of people talk about Josh McDermott that much, but he's really good. And these scenes, um, like that scene in particular with Rosita, that was great. So yeah, we'll see where that goes, you know, that relationship, if it ever happens. I mean, honestly, I would be a little bit surprised if it never happens, because they've been there since season four. But we'll see, I mean... I feel like maybe they're setting it up or they're not really setting up now, but actually focusing on it now this season. Maybe that's bad news for one of these characters. We'll see that that'll really suck. But because for me, I, I always kind of think that these two, you know, Eugene and Rosita will end up being together. Maybe it's like a brief thing or whatever. But for me, I always saw that happening. So we'll see if it does happen or one of them is going to end up dying. I don't know. But overall, to give my quick final thoughts on the episode, you could probably tell from the rest of from the you know review that I really did like it. I love the direction they're going with with this season. I love the horror elements, and this episode, this season, honestly, could go down as I mean, it's too early to say the best season, but already 
probably the scariest season i am know in the comments down below how did you feel about the episode did you like it did you not like it let me know i am gonna wrap it up there for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating stay tuned for my episode 4 trailer breakdown that'll be coming out shortly so you know be sure to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you guys later